And from the Mike Eisenstadt Performance Studio, this is the live music showcase here on WMNF Tampa, brought to you by WMNF and listeners like you. Yeah. I'm Bill Dudley. I'll be your host for the next uh, 55 minutes or so. Today we got in the studio the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers. They're going to play some great Americana slash bluegrass slash other stuff for you. Let's let them start off with a tune. What's this going to be? Uh, this is a tune called The Legend of Gandy Gray. So the title track, or the first track off of our album, The Lane Change. natural ringer he was born to be a country singer he loved steel guitars and fiddle swing man i loved him more than anything but it's a long way home it's a long way home it's a long way home when you walk the world along it's a long way home it's a long way Singing songs and flipping smiles With an innocence just like a child You know he was his mother's one and only A reflection of myself and lonely But it's a long way home It's a long way home It's a long way home When you walk the world Jacob's Ferry Stragglers. Whoops. Dropped my cheat sheet. Hang on, folks. Let's introduce the folks in the band. Oh, uh, well, okay. Over here on my left. Oh, Wait sorry. a minute. That's Gary. That's, that's Gary. Me, that's me. I was going to give myself last. Gary's, Gary's doing the vocals and the, and the guitar. Hi, I'm uh, Libby Eddy. Libby and Eddy uh, on the fiddle and? Fiddle and singing. And singing. On the banjo. I'm Joe Depp. Joe Depp on the banjo and on the big upright bass. We got... I'm Ed Croft. Well, welcome, guys. <laughs> Smaller than the upright bass. <laughs> welcome to the WMNF land here. Happy to have you on the show today. These guys are all from the Pittsburgh area. Is that right? Basically, yeah. That's <coughs> where you're based anyway. Yeah, we're based out of Pittsburgh. Ed's actually from New York. He's the odd guy out there. But, uh -huh. you know... Uh, Joe's from Pittsburgh. I'm from south of Pittsburgh, and Libby's from Morgantown, yeah, West Virginia. Yeah, West Morgantown. And, uh, and the one fact that we must disclose right now, I was actually in a band with Libby's sister for an hour. 
<laughs> it was the best version of half past four there ever was. And you can see an actual video of this band if you go to uh, YouTube and type in half past four. You'll see us all playing. We didn't win the contest, but <laughs> we had fun anyway. We had fun trying. And her, her sister is just an uh, internationally renowned <coughs> old-time musician, among other things. So anyway, we're happy to have you guys on the show. And this is really great to have an actual acoustic band on our show. We've had a lot of uh, rock bands on in the last few months, and so it's great to have something different. Well, thanks for yeah. having us. Yeah. yeah. So how did you all form? And give us just a little tiny bit of bio stuff about you guys as a band. Well, we formed out of, a, of a, the, the remnants of another band that was called the Wee Drags. Um, and uh, that was me and Libby and uh, a third person. Uh, and then uh, some circumstances came up. We had a little bit of confusion with another area band. Our names were similar. Mm. So uh, we changed our name, and, and Ed came to us. Uh, we met him like sleeping under a tree at a music festival or yeah. something. <laughs> and he said, hey, you want to come play bass? He was meditating, right? You want to come play bass? And, and uh, for the first year and a half, uh, we were a four-piece with a claw hammer banjo player. Uh, his name was Mitch Hall. Uh -huh. uh, and he's since traveled on, and we have Joe now. He's a... Uh, Three weeks old. He's been in the band three weeks. He looks older yeah. than that. But yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. He came out of the womb with all that hair. Isn't that something? That is amazing. Yeah. And, and he plays in the bluegrass style. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, universal, the universal break. <laughs> you do it in any key. So that's really great. Well, how did you get the name Jacob's Ferry? Where's that? Is That's a place in West Virginia, isn't it? It's a place in Pennsylvania. Oh, my goodness. Really? Yeah. It's, uh, there's some road signs for this town everywhere. And uh, you really feel like you're going somewhere when you go to it. But I'd never been there. It's near where I grew up. Is there anything actually there? Nothing. <laughs> There's a boat dock, uh, <laughs> some trailers that are actually built under carports. And I, I think there's a basketball court. But no ferry. No ferry. No, the <laughs> Maybe ferries. Used defunct. to be a ferry. Used to be a ferry. 19th century or something like that. Yep. Well, you can check these guys out at their website, which is jacobsferry.com. But we got to tell you, Jacob is spelled J-A-K-O-B. JacobsFerry.com. Jacobs Ferry Stragglers. How about another tune? Sure, we're going to have Ed do you one here. This is Ed Croft from Peekskill, New York. We're going to do one for you. This is on our record. What's it called? It's, it's called The Night Train in Memphis. It's by Roy A. Cuff and his Smoky Man and Boys. Take that night train to Memphis, and when you arrive at the station, I'll be right there to meet you, I'll be right there to greet you, so don't turn down my invitation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I'll be shouting out of you all the way. Oh, we'll have a jubilee down in Memphis, Tennessee, and I'll shout hallelujah all the way.
Got them there live. They're the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers, and they're here on our show here at WMNF, the live music showcase. And we'd like to uh, thank the folks who help with this show and do such a great job putting it on. Our sound mixer is the inimitable Mark Perfetti, assisted today by Maggie Tobin and Yumiko Thomas. Video crew Bob Hoke, Richard Stone, Tom, and Marcy Connors on the cameras, Bob on direction. Our associate producer is Miss Mildred Matos. Our producer, Steve Arduango, who does the booking for this here radio show. And once again, this is the live music showcase on WMNF. You can react to our show by giving us a call at 813-239-9663. That is the studio request slash call in line. And uh, you can even text at 813-433-0885. Get it? 885. And uh, send us an email at dj at wmnf.org into the control room right now. Or you can, if you have a band or somebody you think ought to be on the show or you yourself uh, feel deserving, <laughs> ready for prime time, you know what I'm saying? If you ought to be on the radio. <laughs> if you. <laughs> 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 you too can be on the radio. Send us a message at live music at wmnf.org. Live music at wmnf.org. And that is the web, that is the email address for our show any other time than when we're actually on the air. And uh, as you know, WMNF is a listener-supported suppo- non-commercial station, and tips are appreciated, and we have made that quite easy on our website, WMNF.org, where you can listen to past shows. You can uh, check out a lot of other great community events, including WMNF events, and drop some cash in the old tip jar. We'd love to, we'd love to hear from you, and we'd also... Love for you to make a contribution to keep community radio and live music on the air. So right now, I'll say one more thing, and then we're going to go back to the music. Um, we got a couple of copies of the uh, the band, the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers' latest CD. It's called The Lane Change. And we got two autographed copies of this. And I'll tell you what, let's give one away right now. Be the eighth caller, eighth caller. At 813-239-9663, and you'll get your very own autographed copy of the new album, The Lane Change by the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers. Okay, let's get back to music. What's this one going to be? Uh, this is a song that was written by a friend of ours named Darren Hunt from uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. The first time we were on tour in Fort Wayne, we played at this uh, little club. It was, it was kind of a metal club, uh, <laughs> kind of, but they had us. And uh, what was it called, Ed? Skeleton. 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 Actually, then it was still known as the Berlin, the Berlin Music, Music Pub, Pub at that point. It was a very cool little place. And uh, we pulled up to and looked at the billboard, and the sign said that the opener was called 10 Pound Meat Hammer. <laughs> and and we were like, what's that? You know, it's this, well, this is going to be a strange show. And they ended up being a folk duo with a guitar player and a, vi- and a, a viola player, and they were great. And uh, they did this song. And I hope they got a new name after that. He, he changes his name for every show. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. never the same. Yeah. Uh, and Libby said uh, his name is Dag, Darren Hunt, but he goes by Dag. And uh, Libby said, uh, hey, I want to sing your song. You know, so we started doing his song for him. Huh. Uh, it's called White Lightning Road. And uh, Libby sings this one. <laughs> Got a long way to go. Can't afford a mule, and I can't get no fuel. So I carry my load while I'm in road. He's old Like my daddy done 
music from our band today, playing a little bit of bluegrass for you. It's the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers here on WMNF. They do have a website, jacobsferry.com. They spell J-K-O-B-S, Ferry, F-E-R-R-Y. And uh, in the band, we got Gary on the vocals, Libby on the vocals and fiddle, Gary playing the guitar, Ed on the upright bass and vocals, and Joe on the banjo. And these guys have been playing down in South Florida, and you're headed up now to North Florida. They're going to be in Tallahassee tonight, right? Tonight. <laughs> tonight, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going back south tomorrow. Oh, geez. Yeah. This leg of the tour didn't work. It worked out to be kind of haphazard. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, they're going back down to the southwest of Florida. But hopefully next year you're coming back and you're going to play around here because there's a bunch of festivals that we have around here that you guys would fit right in. Kind of high-energy, hot picker bluegrassy kind of Americana bands. Well, we'll come play. Yeah, sure. just right. So we'll we'll have to get a hold of those guys and make sure that they know you guys are around and they can listen to this show on the on the website. Check it out. They're the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers. Now you got a you got a couple of CDs. We'll talk about that for a sec. Um, well, we have the we're working on the 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 second one now. We don't know what it's going to be called or anything like that uh -huh. yet. It all comes together at the end for mm -hmm. us usually. Yeah, that last tune will be on it. And we're okay. going to do one more today that will be on that. Uh, you heard it first right here on <laughs> Community Radio. <laughs> but uh, uh, the first album, The Lane Change, um, we recorded it last summer. Uh, it's basically in the middle of like a four-month tour. Um, w two weeks after Ed joined the band, uh, we just went in and did it. Uh, and uh, that's what it was. It's 12 songs. Uh -huh. uh, I think half of it's original tunes. And then the other half of it are traditional tunes or, or covers. Uh, and uh, that's what we've been up to for the year. Yeah. So there's kind of an, a band in the process of evolution. For sure. Yeah. Wait a minute. i got a note. Someone handed me a note. Is that for me? Telegraph. Telegraph. <laughs> Our winner of the album, and it is Claudette in Tampa. She says, my four-year-olds are loving it and can't stop dancing. That's awesome. That's the t that's actually the test of all the original music, is uh, is that I play it for my nephew. Uh -huh. You know, he's a little he's a little guy, a little tight. And uh, if he dances, we roll with it. And if he doesn't, <laughs> we just abandon it. You, know. <laughs> you can trust a toddler when it comes to t musical taste. There's no bias whatsoever. Well, thanks, Claudette. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right, let's have another song or a tune or whichever. This is a uh, kind of a mix. This is an original. This is uh, it's called the Beaumont Butler's Blues, and uh, it's a, all an inside joke. This song is all an inside joke. And if you wanna, if you wanna know about it, send me an email or something. I, I'm not gonna make the joke on the air. But uh, we came up with this idea for this little goofy little song, and we couldn't come up with a bridge. Libby and I in our house were trying to, and she says, "Hey." I know the Beaumont rag, but I know it in the key of F. I was going to say right? Beaumont rag. Yeah, right. Um, so the song's in the key of A, and we had to figure out how to get to F to play the Beaumont rag and then get back out of it. And uh, it's kind of a, it's like old string band sound in tune, the swingy style. All right. Uh, it's going to feature uh, Ed here on a on an atonal bass lick to start the, the song. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Mom Butler had a heavy day. The only thing you do to take the blues away, take a flat top box, steel guitar string. Well, he thought some rag done stole his weed while he was on the road, chasing a dream, all dressed up in his red ruby jeans. Don't call to come back, just call to show. You better call to sack whack, cause everybody knows. When Beaumont Butler came back around, fell left out so he sued the town. And all of his friends, they got a little scheme. As for me, I never met the man, but I've been kind of busy in a bluegrass band. Hell's in California, PA. 
first guitar when I was five. Man, I ain't that great. But I ain't shy. The only thing I steal is another day. Don't call to come back. Just call to show. You better call to sack whack. Cause everybody knows. When Bob and Bubba came back around. Fell left out so soon to town. All his friends, they got a little scheme. is a rag and a hawk is a bird and fighting is bad. Nothing is worse than seeing the world alone. You know you miss the opportunity to live in the love that another sees. Games you play with flame when that shows alone. Don't call to come back. Just call to show. You better call to sack whack cause everybody knows. When Bo my Butler came back around fell left out so we sued the town. When Beaumont Butler came back around, fell left down, so he sued the town. Now all his friends, they got a little speed. That's right. A lot going on in that song. I don't know you keep track of those chords. Woo. You've got music live here from WMNF. From the Mike Eisenstadt Performance Studio, you got your Jacobs Ferry Stragglers. They spell that J-A-K-O-B-S, Ferry Stragglers. They're live here in the, in the studio. And uh, i got to tell you also, the support for WMNF comes from our members and the Capitol Theater presenting Gaelic Storm, Monday, January 25th. From bluegrass fans and country cowboys to deadheads, rock and rollers, and Celtic fanatics, Gaelic Storm is also known for their matching sweaters. At the cap.com has more information on all that I've just said. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Clancy Brothers did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, th- since you said something about that, Mr. Ed Crop, why don't you tell us how you got started playing music and what your background is, real quick? Just a few. Oh. Just a little short thing here. Well, when I was 10, my parents gave me a guitar for my birthday. So I started down that slippery slippery slope, <laughs> and uh, so shortly after that, I was watching the Buddy Holly story on TV one night with my dad, you know, Gary Busey, uh-huh. and uh, that's a great movie if you haven't seen it. And, and they, all the actors all great. play in it. Right, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Gary And yeah. Charles Martin Smith was playing bass, right, and I yeah. saw then, like, man, I want to do that. And when Upright bass. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> my grandpa, when he was alive, was a instrument repair guy for a living, so for my birthday that year, we went down to visit him in Delaware. And waiting in the living room was an old Englehart upright bass he put together for me. A Whoa. quarter size one because, you know, this big as opposed to this big. Yeah, you weren't and very tall. No, then. still not. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he gave me a bass. And, you know, once you started playing stand-up bass, no one ever calls you for a guitar gig anymore. So <laughs> there we are now. <laughs> well, how would you get into bluegrass, though? 
you were always? My parents always had the radio on in our house when I was a kid, and I heard, you know, I'd hear everything from John Coltrane to Randy Travis within an hour, you know, oh like, yeah. and they just gave me no musical biases whatsoever. That's so great. Yeah. That's great. So I just like, want to like music in general. Wow. So. Well, that's great. We're happy to have you here. Yeah, we got we got here. Joe Depp over there on the banjo. How'd you how you get started playing banjo? You were, did you always were uh, you always into bluegrass or not? No, uh, I uh, I don't know. I'm from the city of Pittsburgh, uh -huh. so there wasn't very much bluegrass up there. Really? No, not really. There still really isn't, but there's a little bit. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere in my later teens, early twenties, I found the banjo, and here I am. Yeah. Somehow it worked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now bluegrass banjo is a whole other kind of banjo from old timey banjo, like we a were talking bit. about before. Banjos have resonators on them, so they're louder, and you play with picks on your fingers. Yeah. So, uh, who are your influences in the bluegrass world? Anybody you look up to? Uh my uh, Rob McCory. Mm -hmm. He's my hero. Yeah. Uh, Earl Scruggs, and I don't know. Those two work. They're the best. Some of the pioneers there. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll take them. Yeah. Tony Trishka. Yeah. He's the man. He's great. He's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Miss Libietti, I know a little bit about your background. Mm -hmm. As I told the folks, your sister's a famous musician also. and uh, But must be something in the water up there in Morgantown, West Virginia, huh? Uh, well, my sister and I were, were really lucky to uh, have the parents that yeah. we had. Um, both of them play music, and... Uh, Every Saturday night, they would take us out to square dances or contra dances or an old-time festival. Or oh, very cool parents. So very cool parents. And um, so I just kind of got to grow up with songs like Soldier's Joy and Mississippi Sawyer and all of these tunes were always in my head. But, uh, you know, my sister always played the fiddle. She's older than me. And, and I said, okay, well, I want to do something else. So, you know, I, I wanted to play the cello. And so uh, my mom put a trumpet in my hands. Oh, of course. <laughs> and <then> <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> yeah. That's what uh, you do. Th th that didn't work. But uh, so I was around uh, 15 or so, and my sister had a whole bunch of students. You know, I, I would dance and whatnot, but I didn't really play the fiddle. And my sister had a whole bunch of younger kids that she was teaching in Morgantown, and she would get them together once a week to have a jam session so they could learn how to play with each other. Yeah, you know, play music yeah. together. It's very important. And she said, you know, Libby, I could really use uh, another chaperone. Would you mind helping me out? And I said, no, I'll, I'll come hang out. So I get there, and she just puts a fiddle in my hands and says, sit down. So I sat down between a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old, <laughs> and they started playing these tunes that I'd heard my entire life. Um, but and, and I watched where they put their fingers on the fiddle, and I just followed these kids. And then it just... So you learned from the students. Yeah. Yep. That's a great story. That's really cool. Well, also in this band, Mr. Gary Antall, and we'll talk to him in a minute. You want to save him for last? Let's have another tune, though. We don't want to talk too long in between songs. Yeah, so we're going to keep this uh, the swingy thing going. This is a tune called Jangly Jack. It's inspired by a hobo who played the banjo who couldn't run fast enough to catch a train anymore. Really problematic <laughs> idea. Probably because he was carrying a banjo. He was carrying a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> Those things weigh. Hustling a dollar, don't give no slack. Lays all the blame on the bullet train. I've been kicking up dust now with showers in the rain. Shoes are worn thin down to his skin. I've been walking so long, he ain't know the most. 55 miles just told a lump. You know, trains too fast, can't he jump? It's been stories shadowing the woes of our social complications. But his theory is suddenly reposing air. Complications from the sun's spot cheeks down to his soul. Jangly Jack never knew no work, but he shouts and he hollers for more than he's worth. Born too late on a bed of slate, I've been sleeping in the gravel where the cross ties lay. Little girl, my 
mama left them all alone. And then his daddy let him wallow, never build him a home. Pulls it all over with a fine tooth comb, tells flat on his back, saxophone. Spin story shadowing the woes of our social complications. But his theories suddenly propose an air of inner complication. From his son's butt cheeks down to his soul. By the railroad track, hustling it all, don't give no sign. Spin story shadowing the woes of our social complication. But his theories suddenly propose an air of inner complication. From his heart's far cheeks down to his soul. What's the name of that again? Jangly Jack. Oh, that was great. That was great. That's, uh, you're listening to the music <coughs> of the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers here live on the air at WMNF. Mark Perfetti is doing the mixology today, assisted by Maggie Tobin and Yumeko Thomas. Our video crew, Bob Hope directs, Richard Stone, Tom and Marcy Connors on cameras. Mildred Mattis is our associate producer. And Steve Arduango produces this radio show. You can get in touch with us here at WMNF by uh, sending an email to live music at wmnf.org. We've got one more copy of uh, the last most recent CD from this very band, and it's called The Lane Change. You can get your an autographed copy of the CD by being the eighth caller, eighth caller at 813-239-9663. That's our studio slash request line. And Steve and uh, Mildred are standing by. And you can listen to past shows at WMNF.org. Just go to Live Music uh, Showcase and uh, go to the uh, archive. You can listen to shows from weeks past. And you can find out about a lot of other cool stuff that's coming up here in WMNF land. Uh, as, for instance, rockabilly, blues, and early rock and roll from the 50s at Sun Studios in Memphis. We're going to pay tribute to that with our annual ruckus Rockabilly Ruckus, we, this year it's a tribute to Sun Records and a slew of great bands, including the Nighthawks, Rocket 88, Sarah Rose Band, Ted Stevens, Hairdressers on Fire, and Ronnie Elliott, and Reverend Billy C. Wirtz. What a lineup. You can find out more about the Ruckus at WMNF.org. We're just calling it the Ruckus this year, because with those bands, it's going to be, boy, I don't know, it's going to be a ruckus. <laughs> 
So our band today, the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers, we got uh, Gary Antal on uh, guitar and vocals. What's your story, Gary? Oh, well, long. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Make it quick now. Yeah, my, d <laughs> my, uh, my dad played guitar a little bit, you know, um, and he always had a guitar around the house. And in Pittsburgh? In uh, California, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Oh, about an hour south of. Uh, clarify that. Yeah, about an hour south of Pittsburgh, okay. California, PA. Um, and uh, they have this picture of me Is when I was... near 84? It's not very far from 84 at all. Okay. 84 PA is the headquarters of 84 Lumber Company. Yeah. Um, uh, well, it, my, my dad had a guitar, and I guess I always wanted to mess with it. My, my mom has a picture of me when I was probably about 18 months old uh, on her bed. I had my, guitar, my dad's guitar on one side of me and a little plastic guitar on the other, and I was trying to play them both, <laughs> you know? Uh, so I guess by the time I was about five years old, six years old, he was... Maybe you guys just got tired of me asking him, you know, so he started teaching me. Yeah. And uh, he was my teacher, and then I went through a bunch of other teachers. And How'd and you get into bluegrass uh, as I a genre? I wrote a song that we're going to play in a little bit here. It's not the next one, but maybe the one after this. And I thought, like, geez, that would be really cool if I had a recording of it with an upright bass player and a banjo player. I, I wanted that song to kind of sound that way. And the next day I met those guys. <laughs> yeah, the next, uh, the, the, not these guys, two different guys. Some other guys. Some other guys. That, and we, and we, had a, we had a band for a couple of years, you wow. know, and, that, and that's, uh, we toured around the tri-state area, Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, huh. sometimes New York. Uh, and uh, that's kind of how it started. You know, yeah. I got really into it. You know, uh, my, my, I studied jazz guitar in college at Duquesne University in Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. And uh, my, uh, my teacher was a man named Joe Negri, uh -huh. who was, uh, he's on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Yeah, I've heard yeah, of him. Yeah, Handyman Joe. And he used to make fun of me all the time. He would say, uh, we'd play these swing tunes, and he w he'd say, man, I could just tell you grew up like near a farm. You just, <laughs> he said, you, you sound like you should be a flat picker. That's what you should do. And at the time, I thought that was crazy, you know. And then ultimately, <laughs> that's what ended up happening. <laughs> so, he, Folks, he turned into a pretty hot picker. Thanks. All right, that's Gary. Hey, what's the next tune? Uh, it's a tune off the CD. Uh, we could have Libby introduce this. Hey, one. Well, before we forget, it. I want to want to mention that the CD got rave reviews from Br Bluegrass Unlimited magazine, which is a big deal, right? Because they don't review just everybody's CD. We, I was shocked. I sent it to them, just like, hey, and they maybe, took the, and they, they took, took it. And yeah. then I got a phone call one day that said, "Congratulations on the really good review in Bluegrass Unlimited." And I said, "What review?" Damn. You know, and I <laughs> went and read it, and it was it was very nice. We got a really nice one from uh, Mark Panfill at Buffalo Bluegrass <laughs> uh -huh. as well. Dobro um, player. Dobro player. Um, I don't. I'm not entirely sure how he got our disc, but he had it. Wrote yeah. a really nice review of it for us. Um, yeah, he liked it. They liked it. We like it. We hope you like it. And the rest is hysteria. Yeah. Here we are, right? All right. <laughs> What's this tune again? I forgot. All right. This is. Uh, we're gonna slow it down a little bit. Play a waltz for you. But this this tune was written by Gene Ritchie. Uh, excuse me, Gene Ritchie. Uh, it's called the Blue Diamond Mine. Mine. 
you go back home, the kids will greet you at the door. Then what did you bring me home, Dad? job on that one thank you yeah i wish jean was around to hear that i bet she would love the way you all did that thank you yeah the late great jean ritchie and a wonderful kentucky folk singer that wrote tunes that we all think are folk tunes a lot of them and reverend billy who's on next uh, with uh, ronnie elliott on next on wmnf he passed this note here says jean ritchie was my mom's roommate in college really (laughs) really (laughs) Reverend Billy C. Wirtz up next with, uh, there he is, his own self. Oh, cool. <laughs> so stick around for, for their show. They do a wonderful job with those old rhythm and blues songs from the 40s and 50s and God knows what else. Some great stuff. Yeah, I, got, I just said that on the air. That's so cool. <laughs> so small world. Hey, we also heard from uh, Tom and Lutz. He grabbed uh, that second autograph CD and... Uh, the CD from the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers. Did I mention they're our band today? No, I don't think I did at this break, but they are Jacobs Ferry Stragglers. They spelled that J-A-K-O-B-S, Jacobs Ferry. We also heard from Mel or Mel's in St. Pete that says, love the fusion with old timey. You gotta love, you gotta love this music. Cool, that's how we feel about it. How can you not like this music? It's so happy, except for that last song, but I mean, it was mostly really happy. <laughs> Well, the banjo makes everything a little bit more happy. I know. I know. That's like what well, somebody was saying about, but you know, I work at this thing up in West Virginia, the Augusta Heritage Center. Yeah, we've we been have, there. We have a great bluegrass week there. And uh, somebody was saying, you can't help but like bluegrass. It's just so happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how we ended up here this year. Yeah. We went We went to Augusta. We stopped in on, on a tour stop and saw some friends of ours last year. And the guy that runs the Baygrass Bluegrass Festival walked by, and we were standing there picking tunes. Oh that's man. how we ended up being here. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Well, hopefully next year you'll be here, here, not just in other parts of Florida, but in the Tampa Bay area, and we'll have you back on the show and all that good stuff. We would love to. Yeah, so we got about six minutes. Maybe we can squeeze four or five tunes in. <laughs> Well, we can play them fast enough to do it. Okay. <laughs> you, are, you're, you are, after all, sort of a bluegrass band. Sort of. <laughs> uh, What's this next? Half, half. This, this is our tune. This is called Scattered Pieces. Is this an instrumental? This is a, no. This okay. is a vocal tune. Okay. Would you like for us to do an instrumental? No, later on when we fade out. That'll be good. Okay. Cool. So this is Scattered Pieces. This is the last song on our CD there, uh, and we hope you like it. shaded green building up a dam with the mud on their hands making puddles in a little stream with eyes so wide they can mirror in the sky paint the truth like a pointed blade well my two cents don't make much sense but you gotta grow up one day seems to me that all the things i've seen repeat ain't nothing free not the dust beneath my knees I'm dirty and I'm humble, now do what I do best. Scatter the pieces and study the mess. Well, now the years roll by with a wink and you sigh, gain knowledge, but it ain't clean. 
Take it's hard to have the faith and believe in a dream that you had when you were 17. Cause every story told gets covered in mold, familiar faces fade. They go back to the phone, everything gets sold, and we're gonna run cold on the day, seems to me. And all the things I've seen repeat ain't nothing free. Not the dust beneath my knees. I'm dirty and I'm humble. Now do what I do best. Scatter the pieces and study the mess. you dare ask why disappointment looms spend the rest of your days in an unsure haze building walls make little rooms take a long look back be content where you're at take it all for what it was worth well everything was beautiful and nothing hurt and now it seems to me that all the things i've seen repeat ain't nothing free not the dust beneath my knees I'm dirty and I'm humble, now do what I do best. Scatter the pieces and study the mess. Oh, yeah, nice music from the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers, our guests on today's live music showcase here from WMNF in Tampa. I'm Bill Dudley. And uh, our great live music showcase crew demands to be mentioned. Mark Perfetti mixing it. Maggie Tobin and Yumeko Thomas assisting Mark. Our TV crew, Marcy and Tom Connors, Richard Stone and Bob Hoke, the director. Mildred Mattis <coughs> is our associate producer of this here radio show. And Steve Arduango is our producer. Once again, you can get in touch with us at Live Music at WMNF.org. You might want to just go to WMNF.org, check out the archive, listen to some old shows, leave a little bit of cash in our tip jar. We'd love that. And our fundraiser is coming up in a couple of weeks, so we want you to pitch in if you possibly can. And once again, if you have any reactions to this show for the next few minutes, give us a call at 813-239-9663. We've got time to take us out on an instrumental. And thanks, guys, for coming down and being on the show today. Thanks so much for having us. Thanks for having us. It's a lot of fun, and we want to see you back here next year, okay? (laughs) That's an order. (laughs) What's this one going to be? This is Bill Cheatham.
after that. He, he changes his name for every show. Oh, okay. yeah, it's okay. never the same. Yeah. Uh, and Libby said uh, his name is Dag, Darren Hunt, but he goes by Dag. And uh, Libby said, uh, "Hey, I want to sing your song," you know. So we started doing his song for him. Huh. Uh, it's called White Lightning Road, and uh, Libby sings this one. <laughs> And from the Mike Eisenstadt Performance Studio, this is the Live Music Showcase here on WMNF Tampa, brought to you by WMNF and listeners like you. Yeah. I'm Bill Dudley. I'll be your host for the next uh, 55 minutes or so. Today we got in the studio the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers. They're going to play some great Americana slash bluegrass slash other stuff for you. Let's let them start off with a tune. What's this going to be? Uh, this is a tune called The Legend of Gandy Gray. Of the title track or the first track off of our album, The Lane Change. Candy Gray is a natural ringer. Country singer. He loves steel guitars and fiddle swing. Man, I loved him more than anything. But it's a long way home. It's a long way home. It's a long way home. When you walk the world along. It's a long way home. It's a long way home.
loves singing songs and flipping smiles. With an innocence just like a child. You know he was his mother's one and only. A reflection of myself and lonely. But it's a long way home. It's a long way home. It's a long way home. When you walk the world alone. It's a long way Got them there live. They're the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers. And they're here on our show here at WMNF, the live music showcase. And we'd like to uh, thank the folks who help with this show and do such a great job putting it on. Our sound mixer is the inimitable Mark Perfetti. Assisted today by Maggie Tobin and Yumiko Thomas. Video crew, Bob Hoke, Richard Stone, Tom, and Marcy Connors on the cameras. Bob on direction. Our associate producer is Miss Mildred Matos. Our producer, Steve Arduango, who does the booking for this here radio show. And once again, this is the live music showcase on WMNF. You can react to our show by giving us a call at 813-239-9663. That is the studio request slash call in line. And uh, you can even text at 813-433-0885. Get it? 885-885. And uh, send us an email at djwmnf.org into the control room right now. Or you can, if you have a band or somebody you think ought to be on the show or you yourself uh, feel deserving. <laughs> Ready for prime time, you know what I'm saying? If you. Uh, <laughs> if you. Send us a message at live music at wmnf.org. Live music at wmnf.org. And that is, the webs that is the email address for our show any other time than when we're actually on the air. And uh, as you know, WMNF is a listener-supported su non-commercial station, and tips are appreciated, and we have made that quite easy on our website, WMNF.org, where you can listen to past shows. You can um, check out a lot of other great community events, including WMNF events, and drop some cash in the old tip jar. We'd love to, we'd love to hear from you, and we'd also love for you to make a contribution to keep community radio and live music on the air. So right now I'll say one more thing and then we're going to go back to the music. Um, we got a couple of copies of the uh, the band, the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers' latest CD. It's called The Lane Change. And we got two autographed copies of this. And I'll tell you what, let's give one away right now. Be the eighth caller, eighth caller, at 813-239-9663, and you'll get your very own autographed copy of the new album, The Lane Change by the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers. Okay, let's get back to music. What's this one going to be? Uh, this is a song that was written by a friend of ours named Darren Hunt from uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. The first time we were on tour in Fort Wayne, we played at this uh, little club. It was, it was kind of a metal club, uh, <laughs> kind of, but they had us. And uh, what was it called? Ed Skeleton. 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 Actually, then it was still known as the Berlin, the Berlin Music, Music Club, Club at that point. It was a very cool little place. And uh, we pulled up to and looked at the billboard, and the sign said that the opener was called Ten Pound Meat Hammer. <laughs> and and we were like, what's that? You know, it's, it's, well, this is going to be a strange show. And they ended up being a folk duo with a guitar player and a, vi and a, a viola player, and they were great. 
And uh, they did this song. And I hope they got a new name. Where when you go to it, but I'd never been there. It's near where I grew up. Is there anything actually there? Nothing. <laughs> There's a boat dock, uh, some trailers <laughs> that are actually built under carports. And I, I think there's a basketball court. But no ferry. No ferry. No, the <laughs> Maybe ferry is defunct. used to be a ferry. Used to be a ferry. 19th century or something like that. Yep. Well, you can check these guys out at their website, which is jacobsferry.com. But we got to tell you, Jacob is spelled J-A-K-O-B, jacobsferry.com. Jacob's Ferry Stragglers. How about another tune? Sure. We're going to have Ed do you one here. This is Ed Croft from Peekskill, New York. We're going to do one for you. This is on our record. What's it's it called? It's called The Night Train in Memphis. It's by Roy Acuff and his Smoky Man and Boys. Take that night train to Memphis, take that night train to Memphis, and when you arrive at the station, I'll be right there to meet you, I'll be right there to meet you, so don't turn down my invitation. I'll look for you. And I shout hallelujah all the way. Jacob's Ferry Stragglers. Whoops. Dropped my cheat sheet. Hang on, folks. Let's introduce the folks in the band. Oh, uh, well, okay. Over here on my left. Oh, sorry. Wait a minute. That's Gary. That's, that's Gary. Me. That's me. I was going to give myself flat. Gary's, Gary's doing the vocals and the, and the guitar. Hi, I'm uh, Libby Eddy. Libby Eddy on the fiddle and? Fiddle and singing. And singing. On the banjo. <laughs> I'm Joe Depp. Joe Depp on banjo and on the big upright bass. We got... I'm Ed Croft. Well, welcome, guys. <laughs> Smaller than the upright bass. <laughs> welcome to the WMNF land here. Happy to have you on the show today. These guys are all from the Pittsburgh area. Is that right? Basically, yeah. That's <laughs> where you're based anyway. Yeah, we're based out of Pittsburgh. Ed's actually from New York. He's the odd guy out there, but, uh -huh. you know, uh, 
Joe's from Pittsburgh. I'm from south of Pittsburgh, and Libby's from Morgantown, yeah, West Virginia. Yeah, West Morgantown. And, uh, and the one fact that we must disclose right now, I was in actually in a band with Libby's sister for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best version of Half Past Four there ever was. And you can see an actual video of this band if you go to uh, YouTube and type in Half Past Four. You'll see us all playing. We didn't win the contest. But <laughs> we had fun anyway. We had fun trying. And her, her sister is just an <coughs> uh, internationally renowned old-time musician, among other things. So anyway, we're happy to have you guys on the show. And this is really great to have an actual acoustic band on our show. We've had a lot of uh, rock bands on in the last few months. And so it's great to have something different. Well, thanks for nice. having us. Yeah. yeah. So how did you all form? And give us just a little tiny bit of bio stuff about you guys as a band. Well, we formed out of a of a, the, the remnants of another band that was called the Weed Rags, um, and uh, that was me and Libby and uh, a third person, uh, and then uh, some circumstances came up. We had a little bit of confusion with another area band. Our names were similar, mm. so uh, we changed our name, and, and Ed came to us. Uh, we met him like sleeping under a tree at a music festival or yeah. something. <laughs> and he said, "Hey, you want to?" He come was play meditating, bass? right? You want to come play bass? And and uh, for the first year and a half, uh, we were a four-piece with a claw hammer banjo player. Uh, his name was Mitch Hall, uh -huh. uh, and he's since traveled on. And we have Joe now. He's uh, three weeks old. He's been in the band three weeks. He looks older yeah. than that. Yeah, <laughs> just a little he bit. He came out of the womb with all that hair, isn't that something? Yeah, he's amazing, yeah. And, and he plays in the bluegrass style. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. the, universal, the universal break. <laughs> you can do it in any key. So that's really great. Well, how did you get the name Jacobs Ferry? Where's that? Is that's a place in West Virginia, isn't it? It's a place in Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah, it's uh, there's road signs for this town everywhere, and uh, you really feel like you're going somewhere.